Uh, hello, this is a rough guide to playing the song Doubtfully Grey by Rupert Hine. It's always been a great favourite and here we go. Um, it's uh, two guitars, it begins sounding like it's a, a, a single guitar double track but it's not. Um, it alternates between playing very closely together and then playing very slightly different things. So, for example, later on in the song, uh, in the first verse, there's an A minor that's juxtaposed, uh, an A minor seven juxtaposed uh, with, a, with an A in the bass and a C on the second guitar. So, the effect's not the same on one guitar. So, as I say, this is not this is rough, but it's still great. So, introduction, G. Just the third finger there. Notice I've got the capo at two, so we're playing. Technically, we're in concert A. 6 4 2. Thumb, finger, finger. A lot of the piece is thumb and three fingers, or sometimes, uh, well, quite often I think, I use thumb and two fingers and I alternate the thumb to do the inside part. So, anyway, next chord C with G bass, the G continues. Third, first finger slides to get the diminished chord. And then G7. So you can either play. Sorry. If you don't take the third finger off, you can squeeze the second in. Or. That little slide. So as you hit the bass note, the thumb comes in. So it's Next bit, E shape, E seven shape, a standard blues run. Five four three. Three, five, three, G. Pattern is basically so just slow that down. Slow the video down, can't you? Next chord, A minor seven. Here I go, moving my thumb across. So up to here, Scarborough Fair, as you might say. I play the open G and you slide the, that E up there. With the first finger following it but not playing at the same time. Open. Throw in the open string as well. Not very good, try again. Um, for the verse, no, no new material here. Intro, so 543, 
I'll say that's not actually just an A minor seven. It's um, it's it doesn't sound right because you need the open G. So you need an A minor with a C bass, but you need an A as well and a G. So, so I generally have played um, G followed by A minor seven. I played it like that for so many years, but it into a thing I said I can give a lot, give a lot. I'll stick with A minor. Give a lot. I'm out of my skin, I said. I can't feel. Go on again. Repeat the material. If only I could stand, you know, well, I'd say goodbye. Yeah, if only I could grow, we'd stay. Definitely great. Um, practically the same for the, the, the um, what I might call the episode, interlude. But can also play as an echo. So, country western, country rock, bluegrass. So it's O2, sorry, O2. And I think um, when I listen to it just now, it's all played, uh, plucked, it's not hammered on. Um, melody runs through on the repeat um, 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 something like that um, but it's hard to do it on one guitar because it's the two parts are really split at that point so I tend to play a little bit of each, so I'll go, I'll go. So I don't do the run through, just do the top bit. Stick on the A minor and use the remaining available fingers. Three, open, three open, three, five with a slide from three to five. So basically you're aiming to play and do as much of as you can. Oh, sorry. Bit of work needed on that. And you notice I filled it out a little bit, didn't I? Galapagos dreams, I said, place me in your tree. Together we crawled out of the sea. I said, we lost our tails. That's a surprise, she smiled almost nervously, equating apes with me. Could leave me feeling great. G minor, seven. It's a pattern from the beginning. On to um, C7, uh, we lift off the third to a ninth. Start of the pattern, the same as at the beginning. 
then, like I did here, using plucking strings one, two, and three to get more chord, a fatter harp sound, fill the harmony out. Same here. Here it comes. So, little finger on to get the C7. Finger, thumb, finger, and filling out the pattern at the end. Repeat. Doubtful degree. Sorry. Fill in. It's the same, it's practically that, but this time here, Scarborough Fair position, A minor 7, add an F sharp, you can call it whatever you like, you could A13, but it's basically an A minor 7 with an added, so you've got that crunch, and you play. Double pull off. Double hammer on, play. I, I use thumb and finger because I like to emphasise the bass line, keep it, uh, I can find, I can, uh, make it clearer. I mean, I can do it. But I think of that as the bass line, like the bass voice. Borrowing the bass singer for a moment, and then th thumb goes back. Sorry. And there's nothing uh, new to learn after that, all the way through. Doubtfully great, except um, you hear you hear the um, I can't remember what we call them. Is it cassava? Um, anyways, I think it's um, uh, it's the one that makes the ball bearings on a stick, um, some kind of sound. Um, and to em uh, emulate that, I, I do more strumming and and lift off the chord as well. Uh, to get the, uh, to use the muting to produce some of the percussion. So when you get to the end, um, I don't understand your song, she smiled out at me. Uh, sorry, uh, that's right. I don't understand your drinking tea. I offered, hopefully. If only words could love you know well with dictionate. I watch you watching me and wait down for the grave. Gratefully doubt. I think I'm a bit below low tempo all the time. Fully grey doubt. Fully down grey. Listening to the song um, uh, accurate carefully um, at the end, I'm not sure that I'm doing the right thing. But I know I generally, if I'm hearing a, um, when I'm hearing a song, um, if I can throw in parts of the other instruments or imply them, then that's good. So I play at one point, um, which is um, two frets above the bar A. Can you see this? So it's. So I keep the chord going. G minor seven, C sus add two. So I'm playing the. I'm 
use my little finger to imply some of that little counter melody, counter -melody that's uh, going on. And then need to ease off the, the texture, I tend to go back to finger picking. Um, and that's about it. Um, song broken into bits and uh, lots of mistakes to uh, watch me recover from. That, that, was a, that was a particularly bad one, wasn't it? So it was. see why I did it before because it's, I'm covering it up. I think I instinctively knew that I was sometimes not quite getting it so singing over the top kind of helps but it's better to but if when I'm performing it um, if I lose my nerve at that point sometimes I won't do it I just felt like not doing it then. I would imagine Rupert would have said, well, you know, try, it, try it that way without the... Why not take it down an octave? Because then you could play finish the melody off. Might be perhaps a bit too sweet. Yeah, perhaps leave it out. Till two days ago, and to go where never listened properly. When you have vinyl records and you're just moving the needle back and forth, sometimes you do miss things, but it's more to developing better ears. And then this is the final thing. This is the final. so much better than which I used to do. Do you, because I've got flexible fingers, I can I can keep that on so that I can keep the sustained G going. But it's practically the same as playing. And listening to it from before I did this video, it sounds to me like, uh, I mean, it's two guitars anyway, so th there's never gonna be a problem. Probably one is actually doing. Because if you're doing one guitar, if you're one guitar, it'd be this. And it makes. Sorry. And it naturally would be the sort of thing that we'd do, any guitar player would, would fall into that easy drop down of the first finger to the third finger instead of that. Which is would come from wanting, from hearing that in your head. If Rupert had decided that's exactly what he wanted, um, but far more likely, one guitar player was doing that because that's the finger that we all like. You know, rather than contortions which some of us can do and sometimes I can do it you know, big hand of things some things I can't do uh, there we go so hope hope you uh, as Lewis Rossmer would say I hope you learnt something from that I know I rambled on and I could do a perfect version but I'm not going to but I will record it um, what I'm trying to do is uh, do the rough version talk through the song give you my thoughts on it give you plenty of time to think things through and try things out and then do a 
you know, performance, a performance version, possibly with a few photos on. Um, anyway, there we are. I thought I was back into uh, Facebook Live mode. I was going to say lots of love and see you next time, which is still true.